Hey guys, I'm finally back. I know it's been a while. I know it's been unfair of me, but work had me a hot mess. My hair was a hot mess, and I can't go on camera looking. Not to be conceited, but like, who wants to look at somebody with hair like Sideshow Bob? Like, naturally, my hair, I look like a Q-tip when my hair gets wet and hot and stuff in the summer. Not a pretty sight. But it doesn't matter anymore, because I'm here now. And I have a subject to talk about that, I mean, it happened a couple nights ago, but I still want to give my two cents. Because as a baseball fan, I feel compelled to speak about it. I want to talk about what happened to Shane Victorino of the Phils. That was uncalled for. I mean, I'm not going to look at all Cubs fans as terrible people or anything like that. But that guy... I mean, he was a sore loser himself. Just him. He was a sore loser. You can be mad that your team is losing, but to wait $7. That was probably a $7 beer, and you're going to waste it by throwing it on a player from the opposite team. You're a dumbass. Ugh. Well, he turned around after that, after he did it. And all the cameras saw was his back and him talking to some people. Because I saw a couple screenshots online. But, um, the Jumbotron thingy, whatever it's called, already caught your ass. So you're dumb to even try to hide it. And then he goes and points out this guy. He kind of looks like McLovin a little bit, if you ask me. But he points at McLovin dude, and McLovin dude gets taken out. And McLovin dude trying to explain to security that he didn't do it. And he gets thrown out from the game, doesn't get to enjoy it because of this kid dumbass. And then the whole row gets thrown out because they don't even know who did it, and the kid snuck away. I heard, I read some article online talking about some guy wanted to come and discuss the matter with authorities in Chicago. So he might have turned himself in, and if he did, good for him, because I know if there's Phil's fans in Chicago, they weren't playing that. And I just want to say, if that happened here in Philly, I mean, I'm not condoning this at all. Don't think I am. I'm just saying. I'm being real with you. If that had happened here in Philly, dude would not be found. We have some diehard Phillies fans in this city. They don't play that. They would be finding him and telling him to take a walk. Okay? They wouldn't play that. But, yeah, I have to give my two cents. I mean, Victor Victorino's in like my list of favorite players along with hmm, Jason Worth, Chase Utley, Cole Hands, oh my god, they're so hot. But anyway, don't get me wrong, I like them for the skills. I do. But they're hot as well, which helps. But yeah, I wanted to give my two cents. Wanted to tell you that I'm back. I'm sorry for leaving you people because I know you want new videos. I know I got a couple new subscribers. Shout out to them. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, comment, rate, subscribe, show love.